Have you ever been captivated by a television series that transcends the boundaries of ordinary storytelling? One such iconic series that has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment is The Twilight Zone, which first aired in 1959. Created by the legendary Rod Serling, this groundbreaking show transported viewers into a dimension not only of sight and sound but of mind. With its thought-provoking and often unsettling narratives, The Twilight Zone challenged the conventional norms of storytelling and explored the deepest corners of human nature. As you delve into the enigmatic tales woven within each episode, you might find yourself pondering the mysteries of existence or questioning the boundaries of reality. For those who have ventured into this realm, two questions often arise. Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? And out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, particularly your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. The Twilight Zone has touched the lives of countless viewers, and your insights and recollections are a testament to its enduring impact. Now, let's journey into the intriguing world of The Twilight Zone and discover some random facts about the show that you might find fascinating. The Twilight Zone, a groundbreaking TV series that originally aired in 1959, was created by the visionary writer and host Rod Serling. With its anthology format, the show presented a series of standalone episodes, each delving into the realms of science fiction, fantasy, and the supernatural. Serling's iconic opening narration and the eerie, otherworldly theme music became synonymous with the show. The Twilight Zone featured a wide range of memorable characters and thought-provoking stories, often exploring themes of morality, human nature, and the consequences of one's actions. Its unique style of storytelling and unexpected twists at the end of each episode captivated audiences and set a new standard for television storytelling. The series had a profound and lasting impact on popular culture, influencing countless filmmakers, writers, and creators, and remains a timeless classic, offering viewers a journey into the mysterious and thought-provoking world of the unknown. It continues to be celebrated for its enduring relevance and artistic innovation, making it a cornerstone of television history. Ranked number 8 in TV Guide's list of the 25 top cult shows ever, The Twilight Zone, a 1959 TV series, has left an indelible mark on television history. Created by Rod Serling, the show's iconic opening narration, There is a Fifth Dimension, is widely recognized, even though it was initially Sixth Dimension. This anthology series, known for its thought-provoking stories and unexpected twists, delved into science fiction, fantasy, and the supernatural. With memorable characters and a unique storytelling style, The Twilight Zone captivated audiences and set a new standard for television. Its enduring impact on popular culture and its exploration of morality and human nature make it a timeless classic. Explore the mysterious world of the unknown in this cornerstone of television history. Rod Serling, the creative force behind the iconic 1959 TV series The Twilight Zone, wrote an impressive 92 episodes out of the total 156. While the show is celebrated as a classic, Serling himself admitted that not all episodes were equal in quality. In his own words, I guess a third of the shows are pretty damn good. Another third are passable. Another third are dogs. One of the episodes that stands out is The Twilight Zone. The Dummy routinely voted the scariest in the series by critics. This anthology series, with its thought-provoking stories and unexpected twists, continues to be a cornerstone of television history, leaving an indelible mark on the medium. Serling's extensive involvement and candid assessment of the show's episodes provide a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of the Twilight Zone. On May 11, 2018, CBS selected the 10 most terrifying episodes of the original 1959 series, The Twilight Zone. These episodes left a lasting impact on both critics and the public, solidifying the show's status as a landmark television series. Among these chilling episodes were Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, Time Enough at Last, Living Doll, Eye of the Beholder, It's a Good Life, The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street, 22, five characters in search of an exit, The Masks, and The Hitchhiker. The series' ability to deliver spine-tingling stories and thought-provoking narratives made it a beloved classic, 
with Rod Serling's later projects never quite reaching the same heights. Notably, the high-pitched guitar melody in the iconic theme music was performed by Howard Roberts. These aspects highlight the enduring influence and impact of The Twilight Zone, making it a standout in television history. The Twilight Zone, the iconic 1959 TV series, had a unique twist in its episode lengths. Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 5 featured 30-minute episodes, while Season 4 broke the pattern with one-hour episodes. This change was due to CBS altering the show's available time slot to one hour, a budgetary adjustment. However, in Season 4, some episodes were shot on videotape, which proved limiting and ultimately led to a return to film. The series is known for its thought-provoking narratives and Rod Serling's creative genius, with Robert McCord being the only actor to appear in all five seasons, showcasing its enduring appeal. Rod Serling wanted Richard Egan to do the narration because of his rich, deep voice. However, due to strict studio contracts of the time, Egan was unable. Serling said, it's Richard Egan or no one. It's Richard Egan or I'll do the thing myself, which is exactly what happened. The 1959 TV series, The Twilight Zone, is known for its iconic opening narration, You're Traveling to Another Dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound but of mind. Rod Serling, the show's creator and host, initially sought Richard Egan for this role due to his distinctive voice. However, Egan's contractual obligations prevented this, leading Serling to step in himself. This decision left an indelible mark on the series, as Serling's voice became synonymous with the Twilight Zone. This show's unique blend of science fiction, fantasy, and the supernatural, combined with Serling's unmistakable narration, made it a classic in television history, exploring the mysterious and thought-provoking world of the unknown. Rod Serling's The Twilight Zone from 1959, a classic TV series, has an interesting origin story. Serling, the show's creator, believed he had coined the term The Twilight Zone himself. However, after the show aired, he discovered that it was already a term used by U.S. Air Force pilots when crossing the day and night sides above the world. This unique title set the tone for a series that explored the mysterious and thought-provoking world of the unknown. Rod Serling invited viewers to submit scripts for the show, receiving over 14,000 submissions. He dedicated time to read 500 of them but found that only two were any good. Unfortunately, these two didn't fit the format of the show, highlighting the specific vision he had for the Twilight Zone. Interestingly, Rod Serling's distinct narrations became a source of inspiration for other artists. Michael Jackson sampled Serling's narrations in his song Threatened, drawing from several episodes, including The Twilight Zone, It's a Good Life, and The Twilight Zone, and his image. These intriguing facts add depth to the story of The Twilight Zone and its enduring impact on television history, showcasing the show's origins, its creator's vision, and its influence on popular culture. As we journey through the enigmatic realms of the Twilight Zone, it's impossible not to be captivated by the timeless allure of a series that transcends the boundaries of ordinary storytelling. Each episode, a portal to the extraordinary, challenged our perceptions and invited us to question the very fabric of reality. The brilliance of the Twilight Zone, which first graced our screens in 1959, lies in its ability to resonate across generations. Whether you first discovered it in the heart of the 50 seconds or stumbled upon it decades later, its thought-provoking narratives, moral conundrums, and unexpected twists have left an indelible mark on our minds. As we step away from the zone's mysterious doorway, I invite you to reflect on your personal connection with this iconic series. What are your favorite memories or episodes that have left you pondering the uncharted territories of the human psyche? Did the eerie tales of Rod Serling's creation ever lead you to question your own reality? Share your thoughts, anecdotes, and musings. Whether you've pondered the depths of the monsters or do on Maple Street or the enigmatic eye of the beholder, your reflections are a testament to the enduring power of the Twilight Zone. Thank you for taking this journey with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated as we continue to explore the enigmatic dimensions of imagination and contemplation. Until we meet again in the zone, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep watching the Twilight Zone.